My community of Riverton Meadows is an inner city community with a lot of the inner city challenges. The community is so susceptible to flooding. Anytime the rain falls, there are in proper drainage systems underground, so water just runs on the road, and most roads would lead directly back to West Bay Farm in particular. I'm aware of climate change, and yes, I do believe that it is dangerous. I mean, living in the Caribbean, the persons around don't really take it into much consideration that when they are using certain products, they are destroying the environment. The Youth Emergency Action Committee program is a disaster response program that was started in 2009 by the uh, St. Patrick's Foundation along with support from the Catholic Relief Services. The activities done in the YAC are like rebuilding houses, um, repairing roofs, we also engage in activities to really foster community development. I'm proud to wear the blue shirt because wherever people see me in this, they know that I'm a part of a group, which means that at some point in time, I am doing something that is productive, you know, and not many persons can say that they are part of something greater than themselves. I just love that I'm a part of something like that, which can uplift the community. I believe the YAC is like another family to me. Well, when I just became a member of the organization, um, I was very timid and shy, like close up. Yes, very shy, low self-esteem, and self-conscious about the way I look, awesome. This project is about empowering young persons, not only have these young persons be trained in disaster risk reduction, but also training them, team building, I'm fostering development skills in um, leadership. We did a vulnerability capacity assessment, also known as VCA, within the community of Tiroche Kashris. We live in a tropical island and we need to be educated about climate change, um, what to expect. The leadership roles I the thing I have taken up for the five years I've been a member of the YAC is learning to speak out and listening because other person's feedback are important as well, not only in my take. So these young persons become strengthened and they become bolder and braver. They are able to impart knowledge on their community. They're able to empower their families and their friends. They're able to become change agents. Um, for the nation and by extension the world. Well, I'm Kelly Raymond, I'm from Man St. John's. I associate with the GUAV Youth Emergency Action Committee, known as the WAYAC. I've been there from since 2012. I'm an active member and still going strong. The Youth Emergency Action Committee targets what we refer to commonly as the unattached youth, generally youths that are not in school or not employed. We try our best to get these young people off the street to be better person in the community, to respond to those emergencies, to those disasters and so on. I've never been in such wonderful experience before and this kind of opened my eyes more because no matter what the situation is, no matter what you're doing, people in the company has to come and help each other. So getting them to be aware is ensuring that the future of this nation is in safe hands, that the youths understand and they can respond to the changing face of things. This program is not working with youth, 
just on emergency response and disaster risk reduction, but we are empowering young people to become leaders and to become change makers of their communities.